Did you perform three miracles for a virile hag, a witch with the universe as her eyes? And did you request and barter a single boon, his location? Or did you unlock his key using a skeleton? Are we all a line assembled from white keys of death? And is this song, the sonata we hear when we press those keys, was your tool to search for him a wishbone? Did you slice the wishbone from the breast of a monstrous old god? Who was the god? What was his username? Was it one of the ghost giants you fled from terrified that he may have glimpsed even a shred of you? Was it the famished god who grabs small ghosts to its mouth and slurps down their marrow? Was it a devourer whose fingerprints leak out red tears in hysterical shame? Was it Francisco Pizarro? Was it King Leopold? Did you see Joe Arpaio levitating each leg borne aloft by flying police cars? Did you see Winston Churchill, that infant-faced feminist turning loose new emergencies? How did you kill the god? Is revolutionary politics the name for deicide? Or is it better to say that it is creating a god together, a god we know does not exist, that is the most radical act? You found a shadowless space where your father waited underneath a star. Is death the story of until? Is death the story you came to untell? Did the light emit a silence like shh? This light, the star wept. Was it a message from the past strewn across black heaven, an emergency beacon from a plague universe calling help, help from masters and money? Did the star halt above that house like a police chopper spotlight? Was this when the star's strange beams obliterated your shadow? Did you cry, no, please, my shadow is all I have here? Did you say, without my shadow, I am a ghost. Without my shadow, I have no history. How did you feel when the star cried and wailed down its weak light and fragile pink lineaments? Did you see the star throned above where your father may be waiting? Is your father the king who sleeps in a cave beneath the city? Or does his life continue in this mute house is he washing the dishes as we speak? Is he talking on the phone in that loud way of his? Is he watching a K-drama while eating Nuromien? Is Did he clip the soup's recipe from that most authentic of sources, Gourmet Magazine? Had you bought him the subscription for his birthday? And was his reply to you some months later? Fine, his French can cook, but take away butter and they don't know how to do anything. Ha, 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 say the ghosts. Was that many years ago now? In fact, probably a decade. Did you just glance down at your wristwatch to show how many days are left in your very own life? Were you given this watch from your future self, that renegade time lord? Do you have the time? Is time something one can possess? Did you open the front door to the house and see the living room from your childhood, the white Nagahide couch, preserving the dark halo that he cast when he dozed off during his hair dye, the cubic light of a TV luminous solely from the VHF, and framed by the window, a blue Honda, car of his youth. These nostalgic recreations make you wonder if you had somehow time traveled to a coordinate outside of the underworld, traveled to the past, or would it be more accurate to say that we are already inside the underworld, that the apocalypse is not a spectacle, but what elapses as we speak? <laughs>